My name is Fakwa Kukub and my question is for all the candidates. Recent studies show continuing racial inequities and in access to good jobs in Canada. If elected, how will you address the employment and wage gaps between racialized and, and non-racialized workers? The question is, uh, how do we guarantee in an affirmative way that all are equal uh, in terms of uh, being able to acquire a job, acquire the tools to do the job, acquire the training to do the job? And uh, my answer to that is that, that we work with labor, uh, we work with uh, the, the, those that are involved in, in, in private initiatives, uh, to make sure that uh, young uh, and well-mentored apprentices and pre-apprentices uh, are given an opportunity to participate in those jobs. For example, the Hammerheads program and the pre- and, and, and post-apprenticeship program that's offered by the, trades, the, the Construction Trades Association, that if we had a labor management agreement that would guarantee that those young people and those people could uh, locally could be employed in the jobs that are being created with the air rail link and so on, that then we can take a huge step towards guaranteeing that all could, could acquire jobs, whether they're racial or for religion or whatever reasons. A, a, a job is a matter of natural right, not a matter of the color of your skin or your racial and religious background. <coughs> I'm a union rep by trade, and I know exactly of what you speak, and I fight it every time I go to the bargaining table, and that's inequality in the hiring, inequality in the payment, and inequality in the treatment of individuals. And I know from having met with uh, the Somali community just recently that they feel it, they feel it quite strongly, that there are uh, barriers placed to their children and themselves getting the good jobs in our communities. I've worked with the TTC to create a system of going into the high schools and starting to recruit people for what will be a TTC repair facility at the former Kodak site. And the TTC has got blinkers on in regard to color. They will hire the, the qualified candidates regardless. It's that kind of thing that needs to happen. It needs to happen across the board. And that's a way bigger question than 45 seconds is enough time to answer. But thank you. <laughs> Well, I'm also a unionized worker. I've uh, sat on the executive board of my union, um, so I echo my sentiments. Um, you know, the Green Party, we want to pass pay equity legislation for women. Uh, and we have so many policies that I think will float all boats when it, when it comes economically. Right? You know, we want to have income splitting, which is going to help families. Um, and of course, we support equality and hiring in, in all areas of the economy. Um, you know, we oppose the use of the religious justice system, such as Sharia law in Canada, that run contrary to our existing rule that specifically subjugate women and diminish the rights of women. But we support uh, pay equity and equality for all races and women. Thank you.